We're not a Cherokee, but we're an archer. Look, you're a little plane, you're a pain in the ass. Alright, so it's the rail cockpit. <laughs> Clear, bro. Well, this is a bit nicer than the greasy porter cabin and a cup of coffee, isn't it? <laughs> we have back in England. This is the FBO here at the College Station. It's cost us 10 bucks for the handling, and that's it. There's no landing fees here at College Station, um, as in much of the states, it's just a handling fee to effectively pay for us coffees and a little ride to and from the aircraft. It's pretty nice, isn't it? It's very nice. So we're going to have a cup of coffee. And then we're going to head back. Water. More water. More water in your case. And then we're going to head back to Houston. Easterwood ground, November 21489. Add parking request taxi for a south east departure with information Yankee. 21489 is Wood Railway 17 Taxi via Alpha 1 or Alpha 2 Alpha. Alpha 1 or Alpha 2 Alpha Runway 2, sir. Uh, correction. Runway 17, uh, November 489. Tower November 21489, a holding short of 17 at Alpha Ready Departure. Number 21489, Eastwood Tower, fly runway heading runway 17, clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading 17, clear for takeoff, 21489. So two rounds there, traffic, Cherokee departing ahead of you. You got him inside, two rounds there. We're not a Cherokee, but we're an archer. Don't you know? Uh, uh, look, you're a little plane, you're a pain in the ass. Uh, Alright, so it's the rail cockpit. <coughs> Ready? Go! Goes to the floor, power set. That was the of November Lima. Peas and peas, all green, let's roll. Let's get out of here. November 489, left turn out to the east approved. Left turn out to the east approved, 489. BLO's getting bumpier now, it's heating up. Yeah. Uh, so there we go then. Heading back towards Houston. How did you enjoy College Station? Uh, well, I definitely had eye candy. Oh, God. With all those army pilots that were there. Yeah. I wondered why you weren't talking to me much. You were on your phone. I was planning on flight doing important flight related Break stuff. Down, okay, one, two, eight, three, seven, four, five, nine, November. Traffic over there, you got him? Oh, yeah. That looks military as well, doesn't it? Oh, is that that King Air coming back? Might be. Yes, I think so. I think it's safe to say that he will have eyes on us. Pretty on his, on his radar. I want to fly in here then, by the way. just want to say thank you to Flying Eyes for my amazing glasses. These are absolutely amazing. I've used them before. I've made little clippy bits that just clip on like that. Although I think they're going to be in sunglasses mode most of the time here, aren't they? In, in Texas now. Um, but um, yeah, I'll pop a link down in the description to my little code and you'll get yourself a bit of money off a pair of flying eye glasses. They're so cool. They're really thin. They sit right underneath your headset like that. Doesn't interrupt the noise cancelling at all. Um, and they're comfortable as well. They don't dig into the side of your head like my others do, like in the side of a massive head. Um, like my other old glasses used to. So yeah, thank you flying eyes for these. Check them out. Link down in the description. Get yourself a bit of money off them and all. And um, yeah. Still quite hazy, isn't it? It is a bit. You say it's hazy, but remember it's completely flat, so you're literally looking at the horizon about 40 or 50 miles away. November 7, 6, 7, Golf, Tower Road, standby, landing traffic. Right there, yeah, it's underneath us. Mm. My instructor the other day was telling me that these vultures that they get in Texas, if they see a plane, they dive. They will always dive rather than climb. So he said, as long as you are over the top of them, You'll be alright, even though you can get close, you'll be close to them, because there's that many of them. If you're over the top, they're, they're only ever going to die. 
I don't think I'd like to get close enough to chance it. <laughs> I'd like to think not. But if we have to. To be fair, I think he's right, because when we've had birds in England that on approach to Camston and stuff, they always die when they see you coming, don't they? So... Yeah. The problem is they're always going to be looking at the ground rather than looking where they're going, aren't they? So... Bird over there, look. Two birds. Yeah. See how high up they come? We're at 2,000 feet and they're above us. Oh no. November 9 or 7, golf right turn on course through, runway 1 7 right at Charlie, clear for takeoff. Well, I do believe that College Station by road is about an hour and a half, two hours drive. Right away. Yeah. Now the south is about half that, so it'll be about an hour. From the north of Houston, of course. This is a problem with Houston, everything's so far away, we can do an hour-long flight south out of Hawks and we'll still be in Houston. I know. It's crazy, isn't it? It's bigger than London. Thankfully, where we are, that's in the middle of the countryside, it's quite nice, but the downside of that is it's miles away from Houston. Oh, that could be a good thing. Right, there's a plane down there, but he is below us. Oh yeah, I see him, thank you. Listener. He'll be going into Navasota, won't he? They don't have like their tall towers, don't they? Like communications masks and things. Yes, they do. And really, so no wonder they've all got flashing lights on them. Information ball, 165 wind Delta 14, visibility 10, fly clear. Temperature 23, 2.06, altimeter 3002. What? Oh, bird. Bloody hell, I never heard he was close. I was only a little one, that one. Um, information goal. Okay. This definitely gets more woody as you get towards Houston, doesn't it? Yes. Or less woody, more, more barren as you get away from Houston. There are patches of, of woodland, yeah. but it's not as green. It's more like planes and stuff, isn't it, out here? Yes, it is. Because what you see here, this band of forest that we're coming into now. I know you perhaps wondered why the heck we wanted to live in Houston. Yeah. But I do think it's a very beautiful part of the world. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. People say, like, a lot of people say, oh, why would you want to live in Texas? Why would you want to live in Houston? I think it's nice. I like all the woodlands and everything, and all the forests everywhere, and the lakes. I like the fact that the people are so friendly here. Like everybody we've ever met so far here, yeah, in Brooklyn, totally they? Exactly. It'll be interesting to see what the footage from them cameras is like under the wing. First time I've had dual cameras on, one on each wing. I'm sure they'll be fine. Tower number 21489 at miles to the northwest inbound information call. For 21489, Eric's Tower Squad 53569. Squad 53569. Number 49, you can turn eastbound for sequencing. You're following traffic due east of you turn left base for only once around, clear to land number two. Uh, left is bound to sequencing, clear to land, but once I'm right number two, 49. Yeah, they're clear to land number two in England, but they, they won't clear to take off or, to, or they won't clear to land unless the aircraft, the, no, sorry, unless the runway is completely clear. So you generally get clear to land on final. Whereas here, they've cleared us to land number two, and they still want to take off in between them as well. So we're cleared to land. Bird in front of us. Hopefully we'll move. Okay, he's out of the way. Alright, do you need to let him know that you're landing then? No, no. He knows. He's got us on um, the score. Yeah, so we're at 0502 off the shots. We're going to take a look at Charlie for VFR to the west. No, just to land right out there. Watch them birds.
49 left at Echo Grounds 20. Left Echo Ground 48, 49, 49. Thank you. Control Foxtrot, right turn west, from my one turn right, Charlie, click for takeoff. Ground C, warrant up complete. That's ground number 2 on 489 of VK2 at Echo. Taxi to United. Ground number 2149er, let's ground taxi to United via Echo Juliet. Taxi United via Echo Juliet 489. Yeah, that's a water runway on the right. Oh. The seaplane training, but apparently it doesn't get much use. Yeah, they do seaplane training on there. Wow. Not very many airports have a flipping seaplane runway, do they? <laughs> no. Welcome back to Hooks Airport. How was that, Rachel? Your first flying adventure in the US? It was good. Looking forward to some more. You liked it? Yeah. Oh, we're going to be doing a lot more flying around here. Lots of things to see and do and explore here in the south of Texas and beyond. We are, we've got big plans for what we're going to be doing here in the US, haven't we? Huge So um, stay tuned, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Um, so you don't miss anything that's coming out. We're going to go and get what we're going to get for lunch. What we're going to do, Whataburger, Chick-fil-A, what are we doing? I don't want either of them. Um, okay, Subway? Yeah, maybe Subway. Greg's, let's go to Greg's. We're going to Greg's for lunch. We're going to get Greg's, hang on, hang on a minute. Can't do Greg's, you wazzic. I don't have Greg's. Ugh. We'll find something. Anyway, in the meantime, thanks so much for watching. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.